everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a boxed cake in an instant pot. So if you guys wanna know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So all we're gonna need is to follow the instructions on your favorite box of boxed cake mix that you'd prefer. I'm actually going to sort of follow it. Um, have you guys ever seen on the internet somewhere where you can make your boxed cake taste more like it's from the bakery? We're gonna try to do that today. So grab all your cake mixture, pour that into a large bowl, and then follow the rest of the instructions on your package unless you're gonna do what I'm doing. You can see my little assistant back there. She'll be helping me make this cake, so this is how easy this whole thing is. Now we added three eggs, just like it said on the box, and now we're going to add, instead of the oil, we're using butter. And in place of water, I'm just gonna use milk. I'm using the exact same measurements for both, it's just substituting with different ingredients. I'm going to speed up the mixing part for this because as much as I love having my daughter in the kitchen with me, it takes a little bit of time. So you're going to need the patience and the time for this when you cook with little ones. But we do it because we love them. So here she is mixing away and then I'll just take over and make sure you guys are scraping on the bottom and the sides and everywhere else just to make sure you get all the little pieces of cake mix in there. We're actually making this because this is my oldest daughter's birthday cake and she picked it out. She wanted all of these particular items and so that's what we're doing and the, her sister wanted to do it just so she can say she made the cake for her. Isn't it so sweet? Now here's a few little things that I've learned along the way of the internet. So if you don't have all the little items that you need for the inserts of your Instant Pot, you can use a Pyrex glassware dish to cook right in there. I mean, you guys know Pyrex dishes, you can bake with them in the oven, so why not the Instant Pot? I add about a tablespoon of oil right into my glassware dish so that I can grease it up. And then I'm just gonna pour my cake mix, just like you would into any other cake mix that you would do. Same thing, same method, same everything, except for these little things. You know when you pressure cook your stuff, all that water and steam, so you wanna make sure you cover up your pot. And I don't have the trivet or the handles that come with it or whatever else, so I had to make shift one. I am using a heavy duty aluminum foil sheet. I just pulled out a long piece and then folded it in half and folded it half again lengthwise, just to use that as my handle. And since I don't have the trivet for the little feet, just grab four more pieces of aluminum foil, put them in little round balls, and then place them on the bottom of your Instant Pot and put your glassware right on top so that that could be your trivet. Pretty easy, right? I did end up flattening these out a little bit just so it's more flat and sturdy for it to sit on top of. Now go ahead and just throw your little aluminum balls in there. You don't have to place them right away because once you put your water inside of it, because you need the water for the steam, it's just gonna move around. So then you can adjust your balls right after that. Once you have your little foil for your feet adjusted, place your cake pan right on top, and then we're just gonna cook this like we normally do with any other dish so far. Oh, and look at that. I knew it was backwards just from putting it that way. <laughs> so go ahead and make sure you have it on correctly, seal it, and then pressure cook it. We are gonna make sure it is on high pressure, and we're going to cook this for 40 minutes first and see how that does for us. I do not have a cake button on my Instant Pot like some of these come with, so if you don't, you wanna pressure cook it, and hopefully it comes out okay. If not, you're gonna see my failure, and we're gonna do it again. <laughs> so 40 minutes later, I did go ahead and press that uh, button over to vent, and you see how brave I was? I didn't even use a stick this time, but I did do that, and all that water dripping right there, this is why we need that foil on top of our cake. Using my little handles there, I'm gonna pull it out carefully because everything is super hot at this point. All right, this was cooked up 40 minutes inside of our Instant Pot and instantly I already knew this was a fail because I was having problems taking the aluminum foil top off. So take a look at that. It was not cooked all the way through. So I'm basically just going to put everything back on top using my little handles and making uh, my foil top sealing as best as I can after this because everything bubbled up as soon as I put the handles up. I'm gonna place it right back into the Instant Pot, put my lid back on, making sure it is on sealed um, in the back, and then we're going to cook it for another 10 minutes, and hopefully that'll do the trick. Since we are gonna start our cook time over again, make sure you press your cancel button, then your pressure cook button, and adjust your time at that point. Again, I am doing this for an additional 10 minutes. So 10 minutes later, I'm gonna carefully put that vent back so we can get all the steam out. By the way, it only takes two minutes for the steam. This one, was, this one is pretty fast. 
So carefully remove your lid, placing it aside. Use your little handles um, if you don't have the trivet, like the makeshift handles that I just made for myself. Oh, and by the way, make sure you center that right in the middle of your bowl so that you have enough balance and it doesn't wobble everywhere. All right, so carefully, let's remove our foil lid on top of our cake. Carefully again, hot, and take a look at that. This time it is cooked through. I know it looks all mashed up and whatever else. That's my fault because I did try it at 40 minutes. Oh, and I did want to show you guys, this is the Pyrex storage with the lid. Take a look at that. It all fits nice and perfectly. Now let's test our cake to make sure that it's cooked through using your chopsticks like I am or toothpicks. You want to make sure it's nice and clean when you pull it out after you've poked your cake. And it turned out to be nice and clean so I know that my cake is done. And I went ahead and just poked another area to make sure that it is cooked through for me. I did let my cake cool for 45 minutes before I grabbed a knife to run around the edges to help loosen up the cake before I try flipping it over. Grab yourself a plate or whatever dish it is that you want to put your cake on top of. I find this cake, by the way, to be perfect for a small amount of people because, I mean, you always have way too much leftover cake when you purchase a cake elsewhere. Anyhow, I did have to shake mine out a little bit and it turned out beautifully. Look at this. It's all nicely cooked. I can't believe this came from the Instant Pot, you guys. This is shocking for me. My daughter wanted this cake from the Instant Pot, so I had to do my research for this. So my youngest did help me decorate it. All I did was cut the cake in half and then we just iced it in the middle and on top and then use the little sprinkle beads that she wanted and it wouldn't be a birthday cake without the candles. And after you're done, you can place that cake right back inside your Pyrex dish and now you have storage. How brilliant is all of this? If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.